show, we want to express our deepest thanks and gratitude to the brothers and sisters of the United States military. Their stories oftentimes go untold. Each week, Lifetime Television brings those stories to you with the series, Army Wives. Please help me welcome one of the stars of the show, Miss Wendy Davis! <laughs> Thank you, you look so much. amazing. Oh, well, yeah. thank you. Just amazing. Do you see what you look like out of uniform, Hob? Huh? <laughs> out of uniform, just amazing. Now, Wendy, a lot of us don't know about Army Wives, so please tell us about it. Okay, great. Army Wives is a one-hour drama series that really focuses on the military families. You know, you always see, when you watch a movie or a television show, you'll, you'll follow the soldier. Mm -hmm. And the only time you see their families is when they're bringing the flag back to the family. Well, Army Wives really focuses on the trials, the tribulations, and ultimately the triumphs of Army families. Because y'all be putting it in. Absolutely. The families have to put it in as uh, well as the soldiers. Absolutely. absolutely. Especially when your, your, your man or your woman has to be deployed and go away. That's a lot. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I was just in Washington, D.C. Or, I'm sorry, not in Washington. I was in Portsmouth, Virginia. And I was at the military NICU. And these women were having these preemie babies. And their spouses were, you know, uh, deployed. And so they're dealing with really challenging life circumstances. And they've got to go it alone. So... Now, when the Army Wives is the most successful series in the history of Lifetime Television. Like, that's huge. Right. 25 years. The most years. successful in the history years. of their network of 25 years. Yes, yes. But you almost passed up the audition. Tell us why. That's right. Well, uh, I had a, a number of scripts to read over the weekend, and uh, Army Wives was right on the top of the scripts. And I read the title, Army Wives, and I thought that it would be corny, you know, like maybe this was desperate Army Wives, you know? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. So I put it on the bottom of the script, I mean the bottom of the pile, and then that Sunday I read the script because I was obligated to let my agent know on Monday whether I wanted to go in on it. And I turned the page, read the first page, and said, oh, this is my job. Wow. So I, uh, you know, proceeded to... Go get that Went in and thing. booked it. That's right. <laughs> Went in and took it. Now tell us about Lieutenant Colonel Joan Burton. That's right. She is an incredible woman. She uh, is the Lieutenant Colonel. She commands 1,400 soldiers. She is a wife. She is a mother. And, uh, I mean, this woman is, she's incredible. I mean, she had some challenges with post-traumatic stress disorder. In the first season, and which uh, is very real, which is very real, mm -hmm. and uh, you know she just gets to live out a lot of these stories that our soldiers are are really experiencing. So I'm just honored to tell the stories myself. How did you study? How did you study for that role? I actually interviewed many uh, lieutenant colonels, many soldiers that are in the army, mostly officers, and several African American officers and spent some time at Fort Bragg to get a real sense of what that culture is like. Yes. And um, it's, it is a different culture. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the clip of yeah. Lieutenant Colonel Joan Barton and see how she gets down. <laughs> that little thing did all this. Yep. You don't want to miss what's going on here when you deploy. And we don't want to miss you. I got two of them. And we can download every night. Really? I know. Are you okay now? I just want to 
want to mention that uh, gentleman is Sterling Brown. He, he plays my husband on the show, and he's an incredible actor. And Hey, Sterling, wherever you are. That's right. You better share, baby. <laughs> you better share. Now, given what you've learned from playing a soldier, what are we missing as Americans? What stories are we missing from our soldiers? What are we missing? What are we not hearing? Oh, gosh. I think what we're not hearing as Americans as is the challenges that military families face. I mean, we, we underestimate how tough it is for our military families to deal with their loved ones being deployed. It's not like they're just on vacation somewhere. They're away risking their lives so that, you know, we can live in this country in a free nation. So um, it's, it's very traumatic if you can imagine your, your husband being away and, and not knowing if he, were, if he was going to come back or not. It's, it's a big, big sacrifice that they make for us. And I'm honored to be here with you guys, really. Yeah. Because I don't think we ever pay attention to the sacrifice if we're not in it. That's right. Like, if we're not in it, we can't even begin to understand it. So to all of y'all, to the brothers and sisters doing it, to the yeah. families, baby, we so appreciate y'all because everybody's got to put it in to make us safe. That's right. Thank y'all very, very much. That's right. Very much. Now, Wendy, we know Army Wives is into giving back. Absolutely. And you guys have teamed up with Hallmark. That's right. So please tell us about okay. it. Tell us what's happening. Okay, great. Well, everybody saw that PSA with Michelle Obama a couple of weeks ago, right? She's, she talks about uh, participating and contributing, and she's a big supporter of military families. And so Army Wives teamed up with Hallmark, and uh, we, uh, we did a segment called Army Wives Gives Back. Yes. And we gave, we gave a wonderful um, Army wife, Brooke, and she has three small children. Her husband is deployed. And so we gave her this book. What this is, it, it is a recordable storybook. And this is the night before Christmas. And a, a parent or a grandparent can record the story. And then this book can travel across miles and be given to a child. And they can actually hear the voice of that parent or grandparent or whoever who's not there. This is a really special gift. And I think... It's, it can be actually a family keepsake for many years. What an incredible idea. What a sweet thought to do. And I got to tell you all, the military personnel and their families that are here with us today will get a free copy of this book. Hallmark is giving everybody in the audience a copy of this book, baby. Yes, what a sweet, sweet gift.